My microphone was not even on. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, College Hoops fans, to yet another episode. I'm your host, Jay Dumont, a.k.a. Next Level Nerd, a.k.a. Fluent, a.k.a. Too Many A.K.A.'s. Bringing you another episode of Let's Ball with College Hoops 2K8. So you can see what I did just there with the scouting. Got to get on the plane here, but we're playing Dartmouth. And, um... About ready to go. Get right into this, baby. I'm here drinking a little bit of beer. Have a lovely afternoon. Cans, unfortunately, but they were on sale, so what are you gonna do? Get ready for college hoops. Not that money's a big, big issue or anything. Dartmouth Big Green. At the lead arena. I'm Vern Lundquist here with Bill Raftery and Tracy Wolfson. What's your take? So this is one we can pretty this safely say we can't lose. Two outstanding big fellas. Rindell is a terrific big man. This big fella is just that big. He is big. He's led to great use too and can dominate on the interior. Jimenez is also very capable at center. This big fella is just that big. <laughs> He's lent to great use too and can dominate on the interior. Both Let's do it. We cannot afford to lose this game. Their power forward is only 6 4. The Aggies win the tip off and the game is underway. Passes it to the left wing. Backs in. Morris set with the shot. Morris scores the Bucky. opening field goal. They take a two point lead. So we don't really even need to land a big recruit this time around. We've Frank got. Dishes it to the top of the key. Hands it off. Our whole team coming back, so. Floyd has it on the elbow. Good help by Bucky. The shot I don't know what to do against this. Oh. Nice clean uh, arena here. Knocks down the first Ready to tur burn these nets on fire. He's not a good free throw shooter. Gets the second to fall as well. Jimenez inbounds the ball. Gets it, Give it to him. Get him up going early. Shot. Collected inside by Ridnell. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson, who has some info for us. Just before the game, I talked with the big green coach. He said these two teams complement each other so well, especially in the talent level of their respective players. He said he'd be surprised if either side is able to pull out. Oh, Jimenez with his second so foul. They're so well matched. We'll see if he's right for him. Thank you, Tracy. Shooting. We have no choice but to bring in. Reserve because they have a big seven footer he's gonna have to match up with. Makes his first appearance. Bronson's gonna have to give us that defensive toughness to deal with the seven foot behemoth down there. He gets them both. Morissette inbounds the ball. Marie swings it to the wing. You're just not gonna guard me at all? Bradley pulls it in. Bradley and I still missed it. That Perfect position that time. What kind of defense are they playing? They don't guard right anybody, D. Frank hands it off. Beats it to the right wing. Takes a three. Oh, the big fella with a Good tough board. rebound. No denying him on that one. McElroy passes to the right side. Webb fires off the mark thanks to the tight D. Still a double digit game. Ball, ball, ball. 
Nana. Nana. Has it on the elbow. Pulls the trigger. Pulled in by McElroy. But they're still out of Beat him down the right Beat him down the hoop, McElroy. McElroy dishes it to the wing. Doyle puts it up. Come on, Bradley man. In the board. That's the shot you work for, Bill, even though he's not their number one option. They're not even the guarding him. To show him some respect because he will hit that given another chance. Doyle uh. gets the weekend call. Bow. That's his first foul. That's his first foul. Never going to get away. Bumping the ball handler on a steam attempt. Too aggressive. Inbounds the ball. The thing about replacing Doyle in the starting lineup, maybe he's just not confident or consistent. I'll have to check those stats. Right side. Passes it to the right wing. Floyd. <sighs> Nana gets it. Left wing. Passes. Right wing. Bradley. This is what I'm afraid of though. The wing. Launches one from beyond the arc. Hold in by Morissette. The defense was up to the challenge on that shot. Good job closing nice. that shot. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Afraid of that big fella getting rebounds. I may start with Ferdinand Williamson. Bring Doyle off the bench. I don't understand why I can't hit a shot with him. Three throws good, and we're all knotted up. Davis inbounds the ball. About 16 and a half minutes left in the half. They're going to try to disrupt the flow of the offense with this half court trap. It's deflected, but it's tracked down by Dirk. Hope three. And nice. Show your hops. By Marie. And they now go up by two. Nana brings it up court. Webb's our best scorer, but Felton Marie is one of our best players, too. All around. After this game, we're going to check around the NCAA and look at our stats so far this season. To the stripe. Beats it to the perimeter. Frank tosses it up, nails the jump shot. Frank, it's all tied up. <sighs> Matt Frank, you've got two first names. Passes it to the wing. Marie has it on the elbow. Can't get the jumper to fall. And it's still <sighs> knotted up six. So I think we've got to Passes just right run wing. the offense. Stolen by UC Davis. I'd love to see that. Just it around, then pounce. Such a thief burn. Just over 15 minutes oh, left I in the half. I had that. Nana. Gets it down low. No good on the last layup by Davis. Marie grabbed that rebound with his elbows high, using a little intimidation. Doyle from deep. Hits Finally. Doyle. They're out in front by five. Floyd inbounds the ball. Just gotta get better with their releases. Nana skips it to the elbow. Right wing. Dishes it to the strike. And it's scooped up by Webb. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Nice Doyle. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Shooting. Makes the first. The big green are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. We can get Paris Hale in the squad, though. We do need another big man or two. And he'll come away one of two. Obosahan and WC Laurie are not big men. Nana swings it to the wings. 
Davis catches it on the free throw line. Feeds baseline. Nana. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Hey hey hey. Be cool if his first name was B. B Nana. Has it down low. Releases. The shot was short by Arnold. They're still down nine. Webb bounces it to the left wing. Out left. Dumps it inside. Morissette throws it up. Misses, nice. but he'll get two shots from the line. We can do some interior passing against this team. As they change up their D against us. He misses the first. Woodards checks in for the first time. Let's try some Ferdinand Williams here. Mm, Doyle. 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 Dartmouth coach. Might have decided to switch things up a little bit. He's going to take time to make sure everybody's clear on the game plan. All right, let's leave Doyle out there. Well, let's get back to the action. Or not. Williamson can make his first stand off the bench. Arnold inbounds the ball. Ferdinand can knock down some open shots. Dartmouth has been on the wrong side of this long run. And Tracy's got a report for us. The big green coach is not at all happy with the drought they're going through and told his assistants to find a way, any way, to turn oh. this run around. Thanks, Tracy. And our defense, a big part of it is, is causing turnovers. They're up 16 to 6. They've got their defense and it's minimum. The thing I'm worried about is the rebounding. Arnold passes to the left wing. So I have McElroy in there. Woodards. Bradley backs down. Shoots the turnaround. McElroy pulls it in. Oh, you can't afford to spot the other team any more points, Fern. They're in danger of letting this game be over before the second half. Catches it. Out left. Marie dishes to the wing. Takes it up. Snatched off the defensive glass by Davis. The big green will try to end this run. Webb is tagged with the doing? reach, and that's his first foul. It takes quick hands to get the theft, and he was too slow that time. Bring us crisp out there. That's rebounds. Substitution. Chris makes his first appearance. Chris Baffert averaging 15 on the season because he played in one game. Arnold inbounds the ball. Deflects the pass. Chris tosses it up court. Webb goes up. It goes uh. and grabs the rebound inside. Ten points separating the teams. We're getting our steals, but we're not capitalizing. Right wing. They don't seem to really have the talent to match us too well. Ignerski skips it to the middle. Nice little pump fake, but the layup was off the mark by Bradley. They're still down seven. Chris catches it in the paint. Chris. Popping in on that last layup. They've been dominant at both ends of the floor. The score should be no surprise. He's guarding a big feller. Ignerski. Has it on the corner. Top of the key. Passes to the left wing. Got a hand on it. Nice. He read that shot so Ferdinand. He knew exactly when to go up and get that one. Wonderful execution. Marie shoots from the post. The bank uh. shot won't fall. They've still got a 12-point lead. Bradley dishes to the left side. 
Ignerski gets it left wing. Pass right wing. Play the ball, play the ball. Davis. Knocks it loose. And it's gathered up by McElroy. Well, he tried to sell the shot, but the D was alert and didn't buy. Good steal following the pump fake. Here comes the double team. Catches it down low. Oh, quick release. And it's timing. He is such an outstanding passer. All right, I can trust in my bench a little bit. About there. Well, let's get back to cash on the court. Both teams are making a few lineup changes. Ledbetter and Marie are conference leaders in steals per game. Bradley Not top two, the but they're up there. Dartmouth has had serious problems with their interior defense. And Tracy has a report from their bench. The big green coach just told the players on his bench, we have to be more physical in the paint. Don't be afraid of some contact. Sounds like he'd rather have some fouls called than to keep giving up all those easy baskets. All right, Tracy. Well, we beat the Brown Bears pretty soundly. Passes it to the wing. And it's picked up by steal. UC Davis. Oh, the quick hands. Before they even knew what hit them, he made off with that one. Well, that last three ball was drained by Webb. The Big Green have got a lot of ground to make up. Frank. Ah. Uh, McElroy oh. crashes the boards. Still they missed. gotta find a way to stop this onslaught. Well, the best defense can be a good offense, and they don't seem to have one right now. Matt Webb. Floyd inbounds the ball. The Big Green will try to end this run. It's deflected, but it's retrieved by Frank. Swings it to the wing. Woodard's nice little crossover. Ah. I'm second. Shooting two. Who is M. Goff? And he makes the first. The on the board. Marty Goff. He can play in this Checks game. Checks in for the first time. He gets them both. Williamson gets it right wing. That last tray, no good. Feeds right wing. Ledbetter. Has it on the strike. McElroy snatches the offensive rebound. Hope's free, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by UC Davis. They're killing them on the boards. And in the paint. Floyd inbounds the ball. Dartmouth is really struggling. They're playing man to man here, Vern. Woodards dishes it to the right. The steal by UC. Another Davis. steal. Uh, not a good entry pass, Vern. You just can't force it in there. To the bucket. Brown <sighs> by Bradley. That's his third rebound of the contest. Dartmouth is having real turnover problems. Tracy, do you have something for us on that? The big green coach is not sugarcoating the issue. He told his assistants, our fundamentals are abysmal. And then added, the only players I want on the floor right now are the ones that can take care of the ball. Thanks, no. Tracy. Outright. Back in. McElroy kicks it out to the wing. Chris releases from 16 feet. Goff corrals the miss inside, but it's recovered by UC Davis. Ah, uh, meant to pump fake. The good interior defense right there. Oh, 
It's tipped, but it's recovered by Frank. Bradley. Woodards passes it to the left wing. They just seem to be not a very talented team thus far. Tipped away. And it's scooped by Goff. Takes it up. Dunks Marty. it down Goff. to the breakaway. He's got We're two. We're destroying them with our defense. Bradley inbounds the ball. The big green need to find some answers here. Bradley passes back to the left wing. Dish far side, but it's tracked oh. down by Frank. Here's the spin move. Stolen away by UC Davis. The break is on. He showed great hands on that steal. Mm. That's his chance. He was protecting the ball and he just snatched it away from him. Shooting two. That's it. All some minutes. Knocks down the first one. Both teams are going to make some substitutions. on the second. Goff. Deflected, but it's recovered by UC Davis. Has it. Baseline. From the right block. Offline by Goff. But they're still Give me that. by 18. The last shot. Gently in. Beautiful improvisation. He pulled that out of his bag of tricks. Left side. Dishes for side. Ah. Stolen away. Let Marty Goff, another fast break. A big stop to cap the fast break by Goff. They got on this roll a while ago and just haven't looked back. Right around five minutes left in the half. Ignerski. Bold pass. Frank gets it right corner. Patterson catches it in the paint. Floyd takes it up. Another Stolen steal. By UC Davis. A little too much Chris. activity down there, and he forgot to squeeze it. Second Always protect the ball burn. Foul. Well, he got there in time, but it looked like he was leaning when the contact occurred. Substitution so didn't sit for long, and he's coming back into the ball game. Chris <sighs> inbounds the ball. Ledbetter swings it to the right wing. Williams there we go. To go. I held the button he's a little bit longer there. The big green will try to put score. a stop to this run. Left Tarmer wing. did not come to play today. Feeds it to the corner. Frank. Another rip. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. Williamson backs him down. Ledbetter has it left wing. Launches it. <laughs> and they're now out in front by 28. It looks like they're playing mid Off with 10 points. Frank. I don't know much how, how much I could take from this game, but Goff looking like he's deserving of some minutes. Back up two. Patterson passes it to the high post. Hey, they finally made a shot. Hall inbounds the ball. Right wing. 
Paul. Beats it to the high post. Chris gets it right side. Feeds right side. Ledbetter dumps it off. Backs down. Williamson unloads. Can't connect from long range. But they're still out in front by 26. Frank. Slides in with a soft finger roll. They're now behind by 24. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes. But it's been down by Goff. Raises up. Very there we go. So you have to hold his shot. He's shooting 50% from downtown. A little extra longer and get that hitch in it. He's got a hitch in his shot. Ignerski bounces it to the low block. We're doing this with our bench. Patterson passes it to the left. Brown at least gave us some kind of a, a look. Patterson lets it go. Oh. And gets it to fall. Wow. But they're still down by 24. Williamson catches it right wing. The last shot missed from three-point range. 106 left in the first half. That was a much quicker shot than they might have liked, but it was a pretty open look, so it's tough to fault him. Dishes, high post. Arnold has it. Baseline. Well, the game's not Shoots over it. yet. 19-footer was off the mark by Frank. Great job to swarm the jump shooter on that play. That's how you lock your man up. Chris goes up. Chris, wide open lane. By 26, 34 seconds left in the first half. Switch. Skips it to the low block. That last layup was missed by Arnold. Alright, and I will be right back after putting our starters back in. BRB. Effort. He rebounds for McElroy and three steals and two assists. He's playing out of his mind. We're all set to begin the second half, so let's get back into it. Never get the ball to start the second half. Tracy Wolfson has more on what went on in halftime. Tracy? Thanks, Vern. During halftime, I spoke with Coach Davis. He felt it wouldn't be classy to run up the score and was going to change things in a way to make sure that doesn't happen. 
Coach said that even though his starters had plenty of energy, he would still rotate in his bench players. He said that it wasn't a question of fatigue, but more of a method of showing different looks on offense. Back to you. All right, Chris. We'll see if they can do that. First person will take the foul. First team that defender clearly got some contact. Fifteenth turnover. We don't have a single one. He got hacked. Yeah, we're not going to run up the score on them. Can't sink the first. Good on number two. Rid now inbounds the ball. This team's just got nothing for us. Frank. Dishes to the left block. Ricky! That's what I was worried about. When he got the ball that close to the rim. Dumps it off. Marie. Dangerous pass. Has it on the perimeter. Jimenez passes to the wing. Baseline. Fires from the wing. Missed long by Webb. But they're still up by 25. Swings it to the left this wing. This is the game I knew, and this is the game we couldn't lose. In Frank terms of... Up. It's blocked. The big green. We didn't the want to lose this game. And they'll turn it over. Not that we couldn't lose, but that we... Morris set. Inbound really wanted... The ball. You can not hear lose a this game. Drop here, Vern. These fans are really sitting on their hands right now. Morissette unloads. He's off from 14 feet out. But they still lead by 25. This takes to what, 5 and 1 in the season? Bradley catches it far side. Frank hands it off. They've probably got some big. Games coming up. I didn't realize Marquette would be ranked number two. It far side. Takes it up. Tip. Floyd dishes it to the left. Left wing. Bradley with the shot. He's off with the three pointer. The D wasn't too worried about that one. Gave him room to get it off. Mainly because they prefer the long three over Defense him foul. driving That's it in. First personal foul. Second team foul. Bunky putting in work. Ignerski got a quick breather, but they need him back on the floor. Good on number two. Floyd inbounds the ball. They're set up in minimum. I wonder if they have any injuries. Passes to the wing. Or if this is just how bad they are. Ridnow finishes Ricky. in close. He's Ridnow. three for three for the game. The Aggies have got a nice lead. Jump shooters. Or sin in the book. Because Felton Marie has not been a reliable jump shooter this season thus far. He's done a little work in the post. He gets the second to fall as well. Rid now inbounds the ball. To the elbow. 
Bradley. Floyd gets it left side. Ignerski shoots the three. Marie hauls it in. That's his third rebound of the contest. Intimidated the shooter with his sheer presence. That's what the best of them do. There are a number of ways to alter a shot. One of those is Doyle. reputation. The last tray was cashed in by Doyle. They're just not even playing any defense. They're in his Passes own, but... Right wing. Tipped away. And it's gathered up by Marie. The break is on. He knew exactly what he so wanted to do. Marie. And when he got the chance, he pounced for the steal. Pair of pin drop He's shooting 60% for the game. I'm out the of big three. All time. What do we have, 31? Well, it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. We'll get our guys out of there about the 12-minute mark. Floyd inbounds the ball. Davis to end the run. It's a little short, but he gets the friendly goal. He's got two. The Aggies have got a nice lead. Has it right wing. Throws it up. Night oh, footer made by Webb. They're ahead. I caught it on the screen a little bit, so I thought I'd let it fly. Nana takes it up. Jimenez reels it in. Under 15 minutes left in the second half. He tried to get fancy. He was looking for the highlight reel finish there. Oh, man, man. Nice touch Doyle. on that Doyle. last three by Doyle. Rocking it. Starting to hit some threes finally. Nana dishes to the right wing. That aren't coming from Webb, I should say. Corner beyond the arc. Reeled in ah. by Bradley. Anticipates the pass. It's two on one. Up ahead. Doyle. Skips it to the right side. Jimenez catches it. Left side. Bounce pass. Out right. Doyle. Rises and dishes. Blades up and in by Jimenez. That's 15 unanswered points. 15 unanswered. Has it outright. Bradley takes the shot. Can't put an end to the run. Just over 13 minutes left in the second half. Marie beats it to the top of the key. Tip, uh. and it's picked up by Dartmouth. Wonderful job of denying the basketball that time. Great pick. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Shooting two. Right, so let's get McElroy in for now. The first team on the court. Both teams are making substitution, substitution on the court. Gets the second to fall as well. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Williamson inbounds the ball. The Aggies with a comfortable lead. Top of the key. Marie. Dumps it to the paint. McElroy backs him down. Shoots the turnaround, it falls short. But they're still up by 34. Hoping for a hook shot there. All you have to 
point towards the hoop for a hook shot, not away from it. Ignerski catches it on the corner. Frank uses the crossover. Far side. Oh. Almost a three point opportunity. Foul. Instead, he'll go to the line. Foul. Second team foul. Shooting two. Knocks down the first one. Dan Nana. And he splits the free throws. The Aggies on a bit of a roll here. Webb. Backs in. Webb has it right side. From down low, out of bounds. Touch last oh. by Dartmouth. Williamson inbounds the ball. Feeds right wing. Behind the arc. The offensive rebound by McElroy. Williamson. Count it. And one. one. Three point one. A superior effort to fight Andrew through the foul Williamson. and put it down. Strong Substitution on the court. Woodards is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. Start making subs about the 10 minute mark. Can't convert the three point play. McElroy pulls it in. Uh. Gets it outside. Top of the key. Passes it to the wing. Come on. Webb backs in. Beats it to the right corner. pass to the free throw line. Oh, hard foul. Like Roy, okay. Shooting two. He misses the first. Misses again and can't make the defense pay for the foul. Davis dumps it off. Frank. Woodards dishes it to the elbow. Bounces it to the free throw line. Arnold goes up. Hopes free. Arnold is having a hard time getting his shot to go, Vern. You just hope it doesn't wreck his confidence, but it's hard to see how it would. Nice on that last shot by Williamson. There's no Man question down. what kind of defense they're in, Vern. Minimum. Take advantage of it. Passes it to the left side. I want to Passes double team back. That. Left wing. Davis. Tries the spin move. Gets it on the free throw line. The Aggies have got a nice lead. Out left. Webb hands it off. Doyle pulls the trigger. And hits Boom. the three-pointer. The big three. Call time. They've got one left. Down 40. Okay, time to get some subs in here. Well, 
looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. Bradley inbounds the ball. Almost wow, 10 this minutes place is of like a morgue, confidence here. Gotta give these fans something to cheer about. Bradley feeds it to the corner. Woodards gets it right wing. Lob down low. Snatched inside by Hall. Right around nine minutes left in the second half. Crisp. Hands it off. Catches it. High post. Ledbetter passes to the elbow. Irvin bricks it off the front iron. But they still lead by 40. Right wing. Floyd. The biggest lead we have all season. To the top of the key. Has it out left? The wing shot knocked down by Ignerski. Ignerski. Mm -hmm. And they're now behind by 38. Ledbetter passes it up court. Goff dishes it to the wing. Inside. Urban backs down. Fires the three. Snatched down by Floyd. Nice run out by the defender. He can hit that shot, but it's a lot harder with the D all over him like that. Ignerski shoots it. Off the mark with the three ball. That's so I don't expect to see too many of these blowouts on the boards. They've got a conference play. Today. Hall. Block. Leads him with the pass, but it's retrieved by Floyd. Dartmouth just did not came to play today. Did not come to play, I should Nursky say. catches it, cross court. Passes, right corner. Ignerski. Tosses it up. Misses the three-pointer. The Aggies with a comfortable lead. You've just got to hit that shot when you've got that much space. Goff dumps it off. Releases from 16 feet. Grabbed inside by Goff. Marty Goff. Bradley inbounds the ball. Gets it right wing. Bradley dumps it to the inside. The Aggies with a lot of momentum. Uh, not a good entry pass, Fern. You just can't force it in there. Goes to the crossover. Marty. Putting up numbers. He is a big two guard. I think he's 6'8. He's a big guard. Ignerski goes up. Well, that came out of nowhere. Just goes to show you can't underestimate anyone at this level. Irvin backs him down. Passes it to the left wing. Hall snatches it down inside. Flip up and in on that last layup. That's exactly why you don't quit Ooh, working. Once the shot goes major up, major win. You keep fighting for those offensive boards to help your team out. Bradley gets it right wing. Bounce pass outside. Bradley. Has it right corner. Ignerski dishes to the paint. Ah. That's his first personal. Oh, well, we're about to be up 50. Shooting two. Well, we came in here and did what we had to do. Next, I think, is Oregon State, and that's not going to be an easy game by any means. It's going to be similar, or even harder, to the New Mexico State game. Oregon State always fields a decent squad. 
can't he convert, but he'll foul. go to the line for two. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. Shooting two. Let's try that. He can't get the first. He sinks the second. Crisp inbounds the ball. The Aggies have got a nice lead. To the elbow. Hall. Can't get the jumper to fall. But they're still out in front by a ton. Could bust that zone up, though. That was Bucky. Bradley catches it, baseline. Frank, hooked away, but it's recovered by oh, Dirk. to the races. Great job on the layup by Rittenauer. Rittenauer. Terrific feed by Nana. Two assists, and he leads his team in that category. Catches it, right wing. Goff releases from 16 feet. Ridnow pulls it down inside. He got it up there, but it just wouldn't fall. With a little more touch, it might have. Nana bounces it to the stripe. He's doubled up. Frank hands it off. Golf is nice. reaching in. And that's his first that's foul. His first oh, you can't foul. come across the body like that. Foul. That is a textbook reach. Look how quiet the place got. It's pretty fun. Inbounds the ball. Like silent in here. Nana. Here comes the trap. They're bringing the double team. Frank dumps it off. Nana has it left wing. Feeds left wing. Frank. Nana skips it down low. That last basket was very fun. That's what I expected their big guys to mess this up. They're right at the basket like that. Rises and dishes. Left wing. Let's see some clock here. Urban. Passes it to the right wing. Goff. He's two for four from beyond the arc. Team team assists. Pass right side. Nana has it right wing. Fires. They answered. Finally, they let one go. Thirteen points, and he's the top scorer for his team. It's like they were afraid to shoot all game. Beats it to the top of the key. Goff. Bounces it to the top of the key. Irvin gets it on the low block. His first shot of the game. Arnold wipes the board off the window. The situation called for a kick out. The D was just too solid inside. Swing pass, left wing. They actually would have let some shots Not fly up. from the two guard. It looks like he can shoot. He's got bars out there. Nana seems quick enough. Catches it on the elbow. This guy here, Frank, Frank. from 17 feet out, puts too much on it. The Aggies should slow it down and use some clock. He just didn't look comfortable on that shot, Fern, and you can see it in the result. Ledbetter hands it off. Top of the key. Passes to the wing. Goff. Backs in. Paul has it on the inside. Passes. Goff. Mm. No good from beyond the arc. With nobody around, he still couldn't convert. Sometimes you can be too wide open. The games like this are good for the confidence of the other players. 
And that leads to higher team unity. That's kind of what we're shooting right for. We want that team shoots. unity. The three-point attempt missed by Bradley. So they just need playing time. This will make up a good amount of that. Gone. Ledbetter gets it left wing. <sighs> Hall backs him down. Misses the buzzer. That's it. And that's all she wrote. <laughs> Cheap and unlocked defense. Dartman, 75. Huge blowout. And now it's time to show you our player of the game. Marty Goff did his thing. As the starters were not needed. Now let's go back to Greg Gumbel with today's version. Didn't want to risk injuries. Game changing performance. Thanks, Vern. Welcome, everyone, to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel, and we're set to bring you the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. There is nothing more exciting in basketball than a slam dunk that rocks the house. The UC Davis Aggie had their way on the inside today, and this tremendous slam sums up their dominance. Get a load of this monster dunk. With intimidating moves to the hoop like this one, it's no wonder the score was so one-sided. Okay, thanks, Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wilson and Bill Do we even want to look at the stats of this game? You were here with us for College Hoops 2K8. Not much to glean here. <laughs> we shot better. They shot terribly. 9 of 17 from 3. That's nice. 47-1% from the free throw line isn't good. We got assists. They had 18 turnovers to our one. One turnover. We out-rebounded them. Points in the paint. Bench points. Fast break. Second chance. Man, we just totally dominated. Doyle was 4 or 5 from 3, which is nice to see. Ferdinand was 2 from 5, which is nice to see. McElroy had thir 13 boards. Ledbetter impacted the game in other ways. 4 steals, 3 assists. And Hardy Goff put up a monster stat line. Alright, so that is that. Next up is the Oregon State Beavers. This is not going to be an easy game. We'll simulate through. And just to see what they're going to be. We're going up against a 76 overall team with excellent team unity. At 54, so that's going to be tough. But I'll see you in that episode. That would be a nice win for us. Hopefully not another loss. And uh, I'll see you then. So thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Peace out, everybody.